only on 13 Action News. Seemed like too good to be true. Two bikes for that kind of money. These were nice bikes. A valley man has two expensive dirt bikes stolen from him, and it was all caught on camera. Just days after our original story, the thieves try to sell the stolen bikes. A good Samaritan sets up a sting operation to get them back. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara has the Action News update. It all started early Sunday morning. Kevin Harlow's security cameras caught these young men stealing his very expensive dirt bikes out of the back of his pickup. The next day, Kevin got a call from a stranger about his bikes. I called the guy immediately. I called the number and um, I told him, hey, how you doing? My name is Mike and um, uh, I believe I found your bikes. He goes, Kevin. I think I'm going to make your day. I think I got your bikes. It turns out the thieves contacted Mike through Craigslist and asked if he wanted to buy the bikes for 3500 bucks, but they're actually worth 15000 After I got up the phone with him, I said, you know what, something's not right with this. So we did some online research and saw the bikes were stolen. That's when he called Kevin. He's like, where are you at? How, how fast can you be there? I said, 30 minutes from anywhere in town. Kevin drove to Good Samaritan Mike's home, and Mike arranged for the thieves to be there too. After Mike got the bikes inside the shed exactly where he wanted them, he followed the ringleader outside with a wad of cash in hand, and that's when he broke the bad news to him. Mike, this is not a good day for you. That's when Mike signaled to Kevin to come outside. I wore a baseball cap. I told him when I take the hat off and swipe my out of me to come out. That's when the thieves realized they were caught. Some choice words were exchanged and the guys took off. They were just as clumsy leaving that scene as they were when they were here stealing the bikes. Well, Kevin took pictures of the guys, got a license plate number and called police. He does have his bikes back, but still no arrests have been made. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News.